Hi everyone, great to see you again and we will discuss in this video management of severe local anesthetic toxicity. Of course, we'll be created another video with uh, classification, mechanism and side effects. But in this one, let's talk about uh, severe uh, toxicity of local anesthetics. And of course, management. Local anesthetics, as example, could serve lidocaine or uh, bupivacaine or another one. We have to recognize uh, signs of severe toxicity. So starting with sudden alteration in mental status, severe agitation or loss of consciousness with or without tonic-clonic uh, convulsions. And of course at the uh, cardiovascular system it could be accompanied with collapse as it is uh, sinus bradycardia, conduction blocks, asystole and ventricular tachyarrhythmias. How does it occur? As usual, so injection of local anesthetic. If it is injected intravascularly or intravenously, it is clear that local anesthetic is uh, going through the bloodstream and it can produce to some patients uh, toxicity. In times that it is administered by the spinal anesthesia or uh, subarachnoid in the subarachnoid space or in ep epidural space or local uh, subcutaneous administration and by uh, incidence it is uh, injected not in the, into the tissues but into the vessel vein or artery doesn't important and it going through the blood and uh, reach all the organs and can produce this undesired effect like severe toxicity Important thing to discuss is uh, management and of course immediate management and later what to do. Stop, stop injection of local anesthetic if you are doing this at the moment. Call for help. It's okay to do. Maintain airway if necessary. Secure it with tracheal tube. It depends on ABC if to be sincere. So make assessment of the airways uh, breathing vessels uh, so circulation vessels and so ahead give oxygen uh, through the mask or cannula or even make a ventilation if patient uh, follow intubation uh, confirm and establish intravenous success uh, why to establish intravenous success the question is uh, do not have patient already an IV access. As I told you, a patient can come to uh, some procedure with local uh, anesthesia and administration subcutaneously or around the uh, surgical area of the local anesthetic. Control seizures in times that it uh, have, if patient have, assess cardiovascular status and uh, consider to drawing uh, some blood uh, blood analysis. What is the treatment in case of circulatory arrest? So start uh, CPR or CPR or uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation using, of course, standard protocols. Manage of arrhythmias. Uh, treatment without circulatory arrest uh, it is common. So, uh, treat the following uh, complications or side effects like hypotension, bradycardia, and tachyarrhythmia. How to do this? So, give intravenous lipid emulsion. Why not a uh, crystalline solution, any type of, but uh, lipid emulsion because uh, lipids can attach. Uh, lidocaine and decrease the uh, free available fraction in the blood. Uh, 
propofol is not suitable uh, substitute for lipid emulsion. Of course, uh, propofol have as a component some lipids, but do not uh, have properties to be used as a treatment for lidocaine or for any of the local anesthetic which produce severe toxicity. Lidocaine should not be used as an antiarrhythmic therapy. If it is used, it should be excluded, of course. Consider administration of a lipid emulsion and lidocaine should not be used or should be stopped. Uh, if in your hospital uh, do not have the necessaries to treat this severe toxicity, you can uh, transfer to another uh, clinic area the patient with appropriate equipment and suitable stuff. So what to do in the real situation if patient have severe toxicity with local anesthetics? Immediately you have to give uh, intravenous bolus injection of 20% of lipid emulsion, 1.5 milliliters per kilogram over one minute. So if patient have uh, 70 kilogram, you have to give uh, 17, 70 plus uh, 35, so it is 105 milliliter over one minute. It's a bolus infusion. And start uh, normal intravenous infusion of 20% lipid emulsion, uh, like lipofundine or another one, doesn't matter which uh, commercial a name at rate of uh, 15 milliliter per kilogram per hour and it's important to uh, give this dose and do not exceed if you are administering additional one do not exceed a maximum cumulative dose of 20 milliliter per kilogram it means that a patient have for example 70 kilogram it's 700 uh, milliliters and uh, a little bit more after a uh, five minute, uh, give a maximum of two repeat boluses. And the important is to make uh, cardiovascular uh, stability and, and to restore, of course, uh, circulation. Uh, you have to leave uh, five minutes uh, between uh, boluses and uh, make a reassessment of patient and do a maximum of three boluses. After five minutes, uh, after you do immediate administration of emulsion, lipid emulsion, you do a continued infusion at the same rate. And you can even double the rate to 30 milliliter per kilogram per hour, per hour. If cardiovascular stability uh, has not been restored, and of course adequate uh, circulation, uh, continue infusion until stable the patient uh, and uh, restore circulation. And you see the approximate doses for a 70 uh, kilogram. You have to do, uh, you have to start administration uh, through intravenous of 20% uh, percent lipid emulsion at 100 milliliter per hour immediately and to uh, 1000 sorry and after five minutes with rate of 2000 uh, milliliter per hour and this is uh, uh, taken from a safety gu guideline and is endorsed by um, Australian and New Zealand College of Anesthetists and it's approved so you can use it and administer. Thank you very much.